Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Eclipse IDE and Java JDK 12 on Windows 10, okay? So in order to install this Eclipse IDE, first of all we have to install this Java JDK, okay? So in this tutorial we are going to install this Java JDK 12, okay? So let's do that. So just open your web browser. Uh, you have to go to google.com and just do a search for Java JDK download, okay? And you can see guys here we have the first link Java SE downloads click on this link and you can see here we have this you know downloads page opened okay you can see here we have this link uh, Java platform JDK 12 okay so just click on this link okay guys and uh, you can see over here a uh, Java SE development kit 12 downloads okay so if I scroll down uh, here we have this accept license agreement click over here okay uh, thank you for accepting the Oracle technology network license agreement for Oracle Java SE you may now download this software okay and here we have this windows okay and here we have the dot exe file of JDK 12 and here we have the dot zip file of JDK 12 okay so just click on this dot exe you can also download this dot zip file but uh, if you download this uh, you need to extract that okay so I'm going to you know download this dot uh, exe so let me click on this or uh, let me select the destination where I want to save this file I want to save it on my desktop so I need to click on this to select it after that click on this save button and at the bottom left of my browser you can see that it's downloading so I need to wait And you can see guys the file has been downloaded so let me go to my desktop you can see over here here we have this file okay so let me double click on this in order to run this setup file of JDK 12 and here we have the wizard okay you can see welcome to the installation wizard for Java SE development kit at 12.0.2 okay after that click on this uh, next button and here we have the installation folder where it will be installed okay if you want to change this you can click on this change button uh, but i am leaving this as default okay and after that guys click on this you know next button and you can see it's you know installing so we need to wait and you can see guys here we have this message a Java SE development kit 12.0.2 64 bits successfully installed okay and after that click on this close button okay and guys if I open my command prompt so here is my command prompt app let me click on it to open it and if I type Java and hit enter you can see we are getting this message Java is not recognized as an internal or external command okay and also if I type this Java space uh, dash version and hit enter you can see I'm getting this error okay so how we can correct this so for this uh, you have to uh, set the environment variable okay so just close your command prompt okay and after that guys you have to open the uh, you know control panel okay so just click on this search box and uh, just do a search for control panel okay and here we have the control panel app click on it it's opened and guys if you have this you know large icons or small icons you know selected uh, you need to select this category okay and after that you need to click on this system and security and after that click on this system and after that here we have this link advanced system settings click on this okay and here we have this environment variables click on this and here we have the system variables and here we have the path variable click on it to select it and after that click on this edit okay and after that guys you have to open your this PC so just click on this search box and just do a search for this PC so here we have the this PC app click on it to open it and after that go to your C drive program files okay and let me find my java folder so here is my java folder let me open this okay 
and here we have the JDK folder. So just open this and you need to open this bin folder. Okay. And you have to copy this path. Okay. And after that, you have to go to your this edit environment variable window. I'll click on this new and you have to paste that path over here. Okay. And after that, click on this OK button. Click on this OK button again. And then click on this OK button and then close this window. Okay, guys. So let's open command prompt again. So let me click on this search box. Let me do a search for command prompt. Here we have the command prompt tab. Let me click on it to open it. Okay. And guys, if I type this Java and hit enter, you can see guys, we are not getting that error. Okay. And if I type this command Java space dash version and hit enter, you can see that I have this Java version 12.0.2 installed. Okay. So guys, it's working fine. So Java JDK 12 is installed on Windows 10. Uh, let's install Eclipse IDE. Okay. So for this, uh, you have to open your web browser. Uh, let me close this tab. Okay. And you have to go to this website eclipse.org. And after that, hit enter key on the keyboard. And guys, this website link in the video description, you can check it out. Okay. And here we have the download button. Click on this button. Okay. And just scroll down. Okay. Uh, click on this allow cookies if you like that. Okay. And here we have the download 64 bit this button. Uh, click on this button. And here we have the download link. Uh, click on this again, this button download. And here you can see we have this message. Thank you for downloading Eclipse. So just select the destination where you want to save this file. So I want to save it on my desktop. So I need to click on this to select it. And here we have the file and then click on this uh, save button. Okay. And guys, this is only available for 64 bit. And you can see guys, the file has been downloaded. Okay. So let me minimize this. Okay, guys. So here we have the uh, file. Okay. So of Eclipse, uh, you know, ID. So just double click on this exe file to run this. Okay. Uh, do you want to run this file? Yes, click on this run button. And here we have the Eclipse installer. So just wait. So it's opening. Okay, guys. And here we have the Eclipse IDE for Java developers and other options we have. Okay. So in this tutorial, we are going to install this Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Click on it to select it. Okay. And here we have this, you know, the current path of, you know, uh, this JDK. And here we have the installation folder of Eclipse IDE. Okay. And here we have two options, create a start menu entry, uh, create desktop shortcut. Okay. So I want, you know, both of these, but if you don't want that, you can just click on this to uncheck that. Okay. So let me click on it to select it. And guys, if you want to change the installation, you know, you know, folder of this, you can just click on this, you know, folder and you can select any folder of your choice. Okay. But I want to uh, select the, you know, default over here, these, these options. And after that, guys, click on this, install this button. And you can see it's installing, so we need to wait. And here we have the license agreement. Click on this accept button. And here we have this, do you trust these certificates? Yes. Click on this select all and then click on this accept selected. And you can see guys here we have this message installation, you know, completed successfully. And here we have the shortcut also. So just click on this launch button. So it's launching. And here we have the selected directory as, you know, workspace. 
So I want to leave this as default, but if you want to change this, click on this browse button and just choose your folder, okay? So I'm leaving this as default and here we have this message also. Uh, use this as the default and do not ask again. If you like that, you can just click on this to check this option, okay? So I am, you know, checking this and then click on this launch button. So it's launching. You can see starting Eclipse IDE. Okay guys, you can see that we have this Eclipse IDE opened. So let me maximize this. And here we have the welcome page. You can see we have various links. Uh, tutorials, overview, samples, what's new, uh, review IDE configuration settings, create a new Java project, create a hello world application and other links. Okay. So let me close this. Okay guys. And here we have the Eclipse, you know, IDE opened. Okay. So let's create one Java project. So for this, click on this file and then click on this new. And here we have the Java project. Click on this. And here we have this window opened, create a Java project. And here we have this project name, okay? So just, you know, give the project name that you want. So I'm giving my Java project, okay? So here I have this my Java project, okay guys? And just leave other things as default. And after that, click on this next button, okay? And here we have this project hierarchy. And after that, here we have this create module dash info dot Java file checked. Okay. And after that, click on this finish button. And here we have this, you know, window now create module dash info dot Java, a module name. It's fine for me. Click on this create button. You can see it's now created. Okay. So let's create one, you know, class. So here we have this source, uh, you know, this folder click on this to select it right click on this and then click on this new and here we have the class click on this class okay and here we have this java class you know this window opened and create a new java class okay and here we have this name so just you know give the name of your java class okay guys and guys it must be in camel case order okay so the first letter of every word must be in capital okay so let me type this uh, hello world i want to create this and you can see it's in camel case and just like this public and uh, after that here we have the public static void main uh, which method stubs would you like to create i want to create this public static void main so let me click on this to select it okay and just leave other things as default and then click on this finish button and you can see guys here we have this hello world.java file created okay so let's print hello world so i need to type this uh, system dot out dot println okay so here we have the println so let me type this uh, hello world in parenthesis okay and in order to run this you have to click on this run tab and then click on this run okay and here we have this file selected click on this ok button and you can see guys here we have this output okay hello world so it's working fine guys so in this way you can easily install eclipse ide and java jdk 12 on windows 10 so thanks for watching if you like my videos please support this channel by subscribing to it thanks bye bye